we have a new out of the box feature state and country ter territory speculates it's coming uh, uh, from salesforce summer 23 you can enable it um so this is how you see it you go to um set up and click find box here click state and country territory pick list um so if you have an address field you can use those um, countries and territories or any uh, leads or contacts um, where the addresses are um, you can enable for existing new application but if you enable is for um, the existing application you have to do you have to do a lot of homework integrations data cleanups you know um you have to update the um, layouts and sometimes uh, you have to um, update the data and apex so forth so when you first thing is in this uh, state and country territory picklets number one configure states and countries for and territories you click here you can set the default country um, I am in the Cook Islands I my default country is Cook Islands it's a part of uh, in uh, United Kingdom but don't worry about that it's an island in the middle of somewhere uh, these are the other ones and you can omit and edit it for, uh, Antigua and Bar Barbuda you know you you can edit and you change the name of that or you you can make it just yes, Barbuda so you can customize the out of the box list uh, in there are about 200 countries in the world from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe um, and you can save it that's the first step you do scan for scan and country territory data that's what you do you have to scan it identify state and country territory data stored using the standard address field when the scan is completed you receive two emails one contains the address data that must be converted to picklist values the other contain the references to the data in the reports, list views, validation rules, and other customization. Um, so you can scan it. Um, it's doing scanning. This is a new dev box. You don't have to worry about that. But if you have uh, a an uh, org, you want to utilize the new feature. You do that in a full. Um, in the dev org uh, of food sandbox number three convert identify data third one so you had to convert identify data select country for example these are France here I have uh, I have country for XX uh, uh, I think I added it it read the data whole data um, uh, so I added uh, some dummy country so it's identified I had to convert it to another change to you can do Argentina or you can do that here yeah. so that's uh, US and US um, you convert to United States of America United States let's say Taiwan you convert to a uh, Taiwan I don't know why it's same spellings here I'm surprised Japan came up. Let's see, Japan. I replace with start with J. 
Japan. Oh, I entered in uppercase. That's why in, in previous um, in their work, so I'm going to change to France with proper uh, letters starting with uppercase. France. So change the data. Okay. Next, convert. So I'm converting existing data. Convert states. I have states here. Uh, I'm, you can do that, but I'm not going to do that because this is a demo. So third step, convert identify data. After you convert your data, or you don't have any data, enable the state and country territory pick list to a standard address fields. Complete one and two before enabling the state and country pick list. And every a disabling state and contrary practice can cause performance issues for the best user experience. Make the changes during off peak hours. I don't have enable, uh, uh, I don't have it enable pick this address fields here. <coughs> <coughs> Number five, uh, scan again state and country data data, identify new or un uh, uncovered data referencing customization of standard addresses. You, you click both, scan data and scan customizations. Um, this is how you use this state and country territory picklists. Uh, it's pretty easy for existing, app, uh, a, a new application for existing application, I have to be careful, you have to convert all the data. Um, uh, so sometimes you have free form uh, text for countries you have to share update to a to country pick list out of the box country uh, list so yeah that you have to do thank you